what's up? What's going on? I'm propping my legs up on this big ass box here. This thing is really big. It's probably the biggest piece. This is like a two segment video, but this is probably like the biggest piece that, that I, I, I've ever owned and possibly will ever own, and it's heavy as fuck. But this also came out, so. It's, it's funny how you order shit and it seems like things get held up or whatever, and then everything just comes in the same fucking day. It's like shit can't come in one day and then the next day, and kind of like be on like a nice little pattern or something. It has to, everything has to come in at once. Just fucking bum rush you. So this is cool. Uh, it's probably like the third one I've seen since I started collecting pop up on eBay. And I am a uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you know, fanatic. So, you know, I've never been 100%, you know, happy with my uh, Bubba Part 2 uh, mask. I believe it was from a Savini mold, but the paint up, it just look, I don't know, it looks smaller to me. I think the neck is, is some of it's missing. Um, the paint up does, it's, it's, it's a nice paint up, but it just it's just lacking somewhere. Something's not right about it. Um, it's not horrible, and I, I'm, I might hang on to it. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll have to see how how big this is because I have it displayed on the head, and it actually looks well. So I'm not sure if this this is actually a bit bigger. I have no idea because this is the first time I've ever owned one of these. But I was looking on uh, eBay, and luckily for the holiday, a lot of people kind of avoid eBay, and you know they're doing stuff, shit like that. So I happen to pop on there just randomly, like I do like randomly searches on stuff daily or every other day just whatever it is and uh, I saw this on there and I was like fuck man it's now or never because I, I slipped up on one of these deals one night I could have got it for cheaper than I actually got this one for uh, I could have got it for like 170 um, or 160 and I think Michael ended up getting it um, Charo, Saro, Charo. sorry you didn't butcher your name horrible with that shit but it, he ended up getting it. But I had the phone in my hand, and all I had to do was like uh, accept the offer, and I fucking just passed out, passed out, and uh, lost it, lost the auction to him. So it was cool. I'm glad I went to his collection because he has a killer collection too. But uh, so this passed, this came up, and I was like, man, I cannot let this go through my hands again, and uh, you know, fall through my hands again. And you know, I let it go for a day, and I thought it was going to be gone. I'm like, fuck it, it'll just be gone. When I wake up, still there, couldn't believe it. Had like two people watching it so then I didn't really have the loot for it so I had to like kind of kind of like beg beg my wife like a fucking five-year-old begging for a toy for this mask because I, uh, I and it's funny because I started like this little thread after I, I, I guess I, I posted it in two groups and then people started just commenting and then some dude threw up that you know Sabini has an email because I had reached out to him on messenger before with no luck at all uh, I'm not even sure if he checks it I don't fucking know I even friend requested him but I think his shit's like all fucking filled up he's like you know, whatever. He doesn't give a fuck. But anyway, so then somebody came back on there saying that they had got in touch with him and he emailed him back saying that he was selling these for five fifty. And I was like, holy fucking shit. Like, I wouldn't even pay that for this mask. You know, even though he's the man, he made it, it's his, his deal. It's cool. I mean, I, I respect the shit out of what that guy's done, you know, for the horror community, but there's no fucking way I'm paying five fifty for that mask. Um, even the Connor DeLess masks, I got those before they thought, you know, they really got out of control for pretty good prices, but, you know, so this popped up, anyway, the, the long story short, begged her, finally talked her into it, got it for, I think, 200 which wasn't bad, you know, I think he, he was actually selling these at the cons, he had, like, a whole table, and I think he was selling these at the cons for, like, uh, like three-something, but I just don't know if that's some bullshit number, I, I, don't, I have no idea. But what we're gonna do is crack this fucker open. We got a lot of work to do tonight. It's getting kind of late. I'm gonna crack this fucker open and uh, see what we got. I've never owned one of these before. I've only seen them. Oh, I got the packing peanuts. Great. You don't need a packing peanuts for a leather face mask, man. Let me see if I can pull this out. Without any peanuts falling out. Wow, that's cool. It's heavy duty. Fucking heavy duty thick shit here. So there it is. All hand stitched, all done up by the man himself, all tied up. So maybe I can just slip the other one off, slip this one on. It looks like it's going to fit perfectly. 
onto my bust so I can just switch them up. But there it is. Might not look much to you guys, you know. You're not in, into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre stuff, and this is definitely not for you. But this is all Savini, all hand stitched by him. You know, after seeing it up in person, it is a very badass piece, and I, I enjoy it and I love it. But there is absolutely no way I would pay $550 for this fucking thing. It's incredible. I love it. Uh, I don't have my search is over for a uh, you know for the for the for the for the two it's done I got finally got one from the man I didn't get it directly from him but yeah you know you know, you know what I'm saying so it looks like in the movie mold the bottom parts here were actually uh, molded into the mask all the way through and then everything else on this mask is hand stitched so very cool I love the paint up he did a killer job on it the hair looks very good you know I wish he would sign them that'd be kind of neat if he would sign the inside especially for that kind of price but whatever it's super the casting is super thick on like each part of this these masks uh, it's super thick I mean the one that I have now I don't remember it being this thick I'm gonna have to take it out and do a comparison, just laying them down to each other, next to each other. I think it might actually be the same, the same mold. Um, it's just, um, yeah. So fuck, it's cool, you know, because this is something that I've been wanting for a while to actually kind of, uh, you know, I thought my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection was gonna be on hold for for, for a while, a long time. I'm still waiting on maybe Connor, or somebody to slip up and post one at like the grandpa, or get in touch with me on that. If anybody selling the grandpa done up by the left, please, please get in touch with me. That's something we can definitely work on a deal and uh, get that thing going because that's one I really want to add. Rudy has an amazing copy of that. Uh, I think I think a few other people do that are in the uh, in the hobby. So I definitely want to get my hands on one of those and. Um, yeah, and maybe like a part two or a part three, Grandpa. And then I still need to get the part three tie, which it's not going to be that hard to do. But yeah, so and then Neil and them are working over there on Chainsaw Graphics. They're working on the part three, the most accurate part three, um, you know, close to the movie mask as they can get. And I have all of Chainsaw Graphics stuff, so I'm a big supporter of them. Uh, Neil's a man, and uh, I'm just very excited to. Uh, hopefully add that piece of the collection too so I haven't really heard any more about that so um, not sure what the deal is but I'm sure you know, everybody's busy and got shit going on it's uh, summertime or what have you so there it is fucking incredible all hand stitched very cool it's very accurate it's the most accurate piece you'll get without owning the screen or you know use one or one I think Jason guys got one that was using a photo op same exact mask as this it's just actually he wore it you know for a photo op so it does make it kind of worn doesn't it I think him and his buddy I can't remember the guy's name but he's got one too but it's cool I'm just glad to own one of these man they don't pop up a lot on eBay and I'm just glad that I got it for the deal that I got it on because 550 is a lot of saving up cash for this bad boy and that would have, that would have hurt. I probably would have done it. Maybe one. Maybe I would have done it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I would have done it. Maybe not. But uh, I'm just glad that I got it now for a great price. Uh, yeah, it's gonna beef up the collection. I'll take some shots of it um, when I get it on the bust. I'll take some 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 new shots of it all together because I do have the eye inserts and the teeth inserts that I think Lewis Fry made one or the other and somebody made something else. So it actually looks pretty cool when it's all done up. So having the actual screen used uh, out of the movie mold, I mean, mask on it will really bring it that much closer to life. So yeah, so uh, hang in there. We got one more video tonight. Uh, this thing is absolutely out of control. Uh, stay tuned.